Turning back now to our election coverage for you tonight, one of the most high profile races tonight is in West Haven, where it looks like we are now heading for a recount. Democratic, the incumbent Democratic Mayor Nancy Rossi faced off against Republican challenger Barry Lee Cohen. And Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff has been following the results all night long. She is joining us live in West Haven right now. Susan, a very close race, a very controversial one. What's the latest? I'll just say this, what a night. Now, because this race was so close, there has to be an automatic recount. Now, the Republican challenger in this case, Barry Cohen, only lost by 24 votes, and he wanted to make sure that there were secure or the ballots were all secure. In fact, he came down here to City Hall tonight. We all watched as 14 bags of ballots were brought here to City Hall and put in a vault securely. Now, this has been a very, very difficult race. This scandal involving an aide here at City Hall who ended up resigning and could be uh, in trouble with the federal government. He could actually be going to prison. That rocked this election, and the mayor, or it may have cost her some votes. But right now, as far as this election is concerned, it's not over. I am very pleased that we have been victorious. We are going to go, obviously, through a recount but I believe the margin will stand. I believe a lot of the issues was because of the conflicting information and misinformation that was out there about the recent um, incident in West Haven. The voters spoke and we want to make sure that given tw only 24 votes that the public is well served because we truly feel that these investigations that are ongoing aren't over. Now, the scandal involving city aid Michael DeMassa really hurt the mayor, and a lot of people feel that she lost votes because of it. He was arrested after an FBI investigation. He's accused of stealing more than $600,000 in pandemic relief money that was supposed to be spent here in the city. But again, as for tonight, it did appear a very close race at some point, and there were some tense moments, and even though the mayor's people were trying to be optimistic, and they are still declaring victory, the mayor did say tonight that she feels good, but she'll feel better once this recount is over. We should also point out that there is an ongoing investigation here into City Hall because of what happened with Michael DeMassa. The city is doing a forensic audit to find out exactly who knew what and what happened. As for the recount, well, that's going to happen in the next day or two. For now, we are live in West Haven. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. It certainly looks like anything could still happen over the next couple of days there, Susan. Thank you. Very